In today's video, we'll be comparing the video quality of Reolink 12 megapixel camera, the RLC 1212A, to the 8 megapixel one, which is the RLC 811A. But we'll also be comparing the video quality of their entry level 8 uh, megapixel camera, the RLC 820A. Hello, guys, Life Hackster here. In this video, we will see if a 12 megapixel security camera has better video quality or clarity than a regular 8 megapixel one. I reviewed the Reolink RLC 1212A a week ago, and overall it is a pretty good camera, but I wasn't really impressed on its 12 megapixel quality. Which to me, and I haven't compared it side by side yet, it seems like it looks the same as a regular 8 megapixel camera. I will link that review video in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. So today we will compare it to Reolink's RLC 811A, which is an IP PoE or Power Over Ethernet NVR camera. The same as the 1212A except this one is an 8 megapixel, 3840 by 2160 resolution, and it has a 5x zoom. I picked this model to compare to the 1212A because the widest field of view of this camera is 105 degrees horizontal and is comparable to the 1212A's 107 degrees. So at least the specs is as close as we can get to have a more or less fair comparison. I haven't reviewed the 811A by itself yet, which is what I usually do first, and today is an exception. I'll compare this first with the 1212A and I'll be posting the whole review video whenever I finish editing and testing. But I really want to know and share with you guys if the 12 megapixel 1212A is better in video quality compared to the 8 megapixel one. Also just for giggles, I'll also add in the video quality of my Reolink RLC 820A which spec-wise is the same as the 810A, and these are the entry-level 4K cameras that comes bundled if you buy Reolink's AI and VR camera system. So before we dive in, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. Let's check the camera specs first. The 1212A has a 1 over 2.48 inch CMOS sensor and records at 4096 by 2784 pixel resolution at 20 frames per second. It has a horizontal field of view of 107 degrees and 66 degrees vertical field of view. And the 811A has a 1 over 2.8 CMOS sensor and records at 3840 by 2160 pixel resolution at 25 frames per second. And has a horizontal field of view of 105 degrees to 31 degrees depending on the zoom that you set. And also has a 55 degrees to 17 degrees vertical field of view. Lastly, the 820A is also an 8 megapixel camera that records 3840 by 2160 at 25 frames per second. And with a narrower field of view of 87 degrees horizontal and 44 degrees vertical. Also, the 1212A has the uncommon aspect ratio of 128 by 87. And the 811 and the 820A has the more common 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And before I show you the video quality, I've set the 1212A and the 811A to their highest bitrate. Remember though that when you max this out, it uses a lot more of your storage space. Now for the 820A, I kept it at default. Lastly, because this video will only be rendered in 4K, so the clip from the 1212A will be downscaled to 4K. But the zoomed in snapshot that you will see later on is from the full resolution, 4096 by 2784 pixels. So let's do this. This is the video quality of the Reolink RLC 1212A and this with the highest bitrate and the highest resolution. Video clarity test at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the Reolink RLC 811A and uh, this is uh, the video quality test and it is the highest bit rate and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35.
so this is the uh, video quality of the Reolink 820A and this with its default tear rate and video clarity of test at 10 feet 15 20 25 Let's check out the video quality at night and this one will just compare the 1212A and the 811A because both of them have spotlights. So this is the video quality of RLC 1212A at night and this with the spotlight turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So this is the video quality of Relinx. RLC 811A at night and this with its spotlights, four of them uh, turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this is the video quality of the Reolink RLC 1212A at night and this with its infrared night vision turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So this is the video quality of Reolink RLC 811A at night and this with its night vision for infrared LEDs turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, So what do you think? I can now definitely say that the 12 megapixel is not any better than Reolink's cheaper 8 megapixel cameras. I'm not really sure why, but I know the wider field of view is one factor. And also another one might be the compression that they use. 
The recording at night on both cameras could be better. Reolink tends to lower down the frame rate to 12 frames per second at night on both cameras. So which Reolink camera has better video quality? Is it the 1212A, the 811A, or their entry-level 820 or 810A? Comment your choice down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.